Hello everyone. So in this particular video, we are going to do a practical for the external shortcuts. So in previous video, we have seen like how to create a shortcut and how to access a data which is available into a multiple workspace. Now let's take a same example. So suppose I have a two team. One is a marketing team. So for marketing team, I have created one workspace. This is a marketing workspace. Now suppose I have another team that is a product data engineering team. For that also, I have created another workspace. Now, whatever the marketing team has the data, right? In a lake house, whatever the data is available. Suppose we have a multiple file. All the customer related files are available. Now, so this all the file I want to access in the product data engineering lake house also. This all the things actually I want to access from the product data engineering workspace also. So what actually I have done? I have created a shortcut and with the help of the shortcut, I was able to access this file. With the help of the shortcut, I was able to access the file from a product data engineering workspace also. Instead of moving the data, what actually we are doing? We are just creating a shortcut with the help of the shortcut. Whatever the data is available in a marketing workspace, right? We are able to access from a product data engineering workspace also. Now this, whatever the shortcut we have created, right? This is an internal shortcut. This is an internal shortcut. Now why it is an internal shortcut? Because in a Microsoft fabric, right? Whatever the lake house you are creating, whatever the file you are uploading, this all the files are residing in the one lake only. This all the files are available in a one lake only. Now coming to the external shortcuts. Now suppose you have a scenario where your data is available is another data lake. Suppose your data is available in a S3 data lake or suppose your data is available in a Azure data lake storage account. Now in this case, your data is not available in a one lake. Your data is available outside of this one lake. I mean S3 data lake or ADLS data lake. Here your data is available. Now this data you want to access from this particular workspace. Now in this case, what actually we'll do? Instead of copying, what actually we can do? We can create an external shortcut. We can create an external shortcut. External shortcut with the help of the external shortcut, the data will reside here only. We will just try to take a reference and whatever the analysis we have to do, we can do that. So, that is an external shortcut. Here, your data will not reside in the one leg, it will be outside of the one leg, and from there, we will try to get the access. So, let's try to do a practical. So, what actually I will do, I will create one ADLS account, I will create one ADLS account, and from there, I will upload a few files. And what I will do. I'll try to access those files from our fabric account. From our fabric account, let's try to do a practice. So I open this particular fabric account. Now we have created a couple of workspace, right? One is the fabric dev. If I'll show you fabric dev workspace. So this is the bronze lake house we have created. Now what actually I want to do? I want to create one external shortcut. From my ADLS, whatever the file is available, I want to access from here. So what I will do? First, I will go to the portal.azure.com. This is the portal.azure.com. I am going to create a ADLS account. So let me create a ADLS storage account. Search for the storage account. Click on the create. After that, you have to select the subscription. So this is the subscription. Now I am going to create a new resource group. I will just say ADLS something. This is the resource group I am creating. Now after that, I have to give the storage account. So I will give the name as a Azure. Let me give in a small data, Azure Data Lake 04 something. This is the storage account I have given. After that, you have to select the reason. So let me select the reason. After that, you have to select the performance. So I will go with the uh, recommended one only. Now after that, the redundancy will go with the uh, local redundant storage only. After doing this, what you have to do? Click on the next. The main important thing is like you have to select the enable hierarchical namespace. With the help of that, data lake will be created. If you will not select, only the blob storage will create. If you select that, data lake account will be created. Click on the next. 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 Click on the review and the create. Click on the create. You can see deployment is complete. Click on the go to resource. So you can see this is the data lake storage account we have created. Now go to the data storage option, click on the container. We are going to create one container. Click on the add container. Uh, I'm going to create uh, one new container. I will give the name as a employee. I'll give the name as a employee. Click on the create. 
it's going to create a employee container this is the employee container here i am going to upload a file click on the upload on the browse file we are going to upload the employee one file or let's try to upload the department one file click on the upload you can see this is the particular file uh, we have uploaded now what actually i want so we have created a data lake storage we have created a one container under this container uh, what we have we have a this particular file now what actually we want this particular in data lake whatever the file is available right in an employee we want to access from a fabric now in this case if you want to access the file from a fabric right you should provide a permission because in azure data lake whatever the file is available that is a restricted right you can't access outside if you want to access outside you have to first give the access so what you have to do you have to go into the im you can see access control here right select that now if you'll see for the fabric we have a contributor role right so what actually we are going to do we are going to create a one role for the blob storage so that we can access from a fabric so click on the add click on the add role assignment i'll search for the storage blob data contributor storage blob data contributor this one so i'll select this after that go to the member so you have to add the member so we want to access from a fabric right so we have to select the fabric account so this particular account right is already showing so select that here i want access select that once you will select that right go to the condition go to the review and assign click on the review and assign so we have given a permission so that we can access the adls account from a fabric account so you can see it got added storage blob data contributor this one is added now if you'll go to the container right now this container we want to access from the fabric so we'll go to the fabric what actually we'll do we'll create a shortcut so come to the file click on the new shortcut we want to access azure data like gen2 right so we'll select that if it is amazon s3 then you have to select the s3 select that after that we have to if any existing connection is there then you can select if you want to create a new connection then click on the new connection now after that we have to pass the connection strings how you will get a connection string go to the azure data lake go to the settings in a setting you will see endpoint click on the endpoints what we have to select you can see data lake storage right so select this copy this come to the fabric give the url once you will give the url right you can give the connection name i'll give the connection name as a azure data lake something azure data lake something you can give any name and click on the next and after that you can see select a bucket or directory so this is the employee container right this actually we want click on the next transform your data skip click on the create now it's going to create external shortcut you can see one employee con employee shortcuts got created you can see this is the employee shortcut right previously also we have created the same kind of the name that's why employee and employee one is coming now if i click here this employee one is the new one this shortcut we have created so you can see department one dot csv now if i come here if i go to my container in a employee right uh, we have a department csv file you can see department one dot csv and from here also i am able to access so like that actually we can create a external shortcut so now your data is available in a azure data lake storage account only it's not available in a one lake but from a fabric itself we are able to access the data which is available in a azure data lake so suppose your data is available in a s3 aws s3 so what actually you can do instead of copying into here right one leg what actually you can do your data is there but you can access from here and from here only if you want to do any kind of the analysis you can perform that so it's very cool feature with the help of the external shortcut you don't need to copy your data from one data leg to another data leg you can just reference the data and you can do all the kind of the analysis which you want so i hope you got the idea how to create a external uh, shortcuts once you do a practical right make sure you try to pause the fabric and make sure whatever the data lake you are creating you just delete it so that you will not be charged 
so that is the best way to do the practice if you are creating any kind of the services in a azure or fabric make sure after doing the practice pause it or the delete it 